not have this one by the end of the day, though. We're going to swap it out. Okay. Um, I'm going to swap a song real quick. And I will let you know what I swap it to and what I'm swapping. Or we could play the, uh, the song roulette game as well. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree to that. I'd like this one. That doesn't work as a closer, though. Eh, I'll see this. Super easy. No, don't rename it. I didn't realize I opened things with prayers. I don't know if I have faith in me, though. Could you switch um, This is Amazing Grace with The Blessing? And, yeah, that's it. Cool. All righty. Welcome to Cross and Resurrection, y'all. Um, Lord, we're here to lift up your name and your name alone and to ask for healing in a world with so much suffering, man, like so much, and especially in a world where it feels like we're in, a, in both a silent season and also a very loud season from you. I ask that this would be this next hour, hour and a half, two hours or so, or however long it is that we're going to be here. I ask that, that this would become a time of great sound, great noise both from us and also from you, and that prayers would be answered and that we would see change and growth and healing ultimately is what we're looking for, whether it be bodily healing of ailments. I know that I have one thing in particular that I need to bring up, not on me, but on somebody that I know that's not here. Um, and whether it be that or it be spiritual healing or emotional healing or this nation healing or the world healing, Whatever sort of healing that we're going we're gonna to pray for tonight, just answer yes, please. Amen. Let's worship the Lord.
mountains shake before you, the demons run and flee. At the mention of your name, King of Majesty, there is no power in hell or any who can stand before the power in the presence of the Great I Am, 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 the Great I Am.
can make us humble. name. 
the precious blood that my Jesus spilled.
Right there, it's fine. Okay. Lord, we thank you for Carter being here with us tonight. We thank you that together we are similar to the size of those who met on the night of the resurrection. Mm. And you can use them to turn the world upside down. Bless us now as we hear your word. May it strengthen our faith and may it move us forward. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How was everyone? Good, 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 good. So I, um, I was, uh, I was talking to my nephew today, and he says, uh, "Where you, you know, where you going?" He said, "Do we have anything to do tonight?" I said, "Well, I do." And uh, matter of fact, he said he was coming, but he let me down. But he said, he says to me, he says, uh, where, where, "Where are you going?" I said, "Well, I got this night of healing," and uh, he said, "Well, what's that?" I said, "Well, it's prayer, and you know, just uh, you know." prayer for healing and worship and he says oh and I said well you need healing and he says um, we all do and I said absolutely we all do and so um, if you're here tonight you are in need of healing and if you ain't in he need healing today whether physical mental um, uh, psychological uh, you know, and certainly spiritual. We all are in need of being healed, in need of healing, and a, a continual, ongoing healing. And so um, I thank God that, that he has not only promised to heal us, but he has healed us. By his stripes, we are healed. And so the question then becomes, how do I get the promised healing that I have been promised? Amen. How do I get the healing that has been promised to me? And uh, I, I want to take, take uh, the text from um, Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12. And... Um, there was a movie called McFarlane. I don't know if you, it was Kevin Costner, and he was, uh, he was at a, like a, he was at a, he got fired from his previous job, and he goes to this predominantly Latino uh, school where he's the, he's the coach for the cross country team. And uh, in the movie, one of the things, he's, he's training them for this, 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 this cross country, and he, what he does is he takes them to the hills, and he has them constantly running these hills, and, and he teaches them, don't be afraid of the hill, but attack the hill, and so what does that have to do with the Christian faith? We, 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 we are in a race ourselves, and just like the cross country, there is no flat, plain running. We, we're, we're not running on a flat ground, a flat, smooth surface. This is not your, you know, track race. This is the cross-country race where there's hills and, 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 and dips and, and rough terrain and some rocks and some dirt and some all these different things that we call life. 
And so the question then becomes that how do I navigate through life so that I can get the healing that has been promised to me? And I think uh, we can see that right here in Hebrews. After the writer of Hebrews, he gives a, a, a ton of examples of, of people who have persevered in the faith in, in chapter 11. He, he, he just runs it down and just so many different great men, great women who have persevered in the faith. That's how we get our healing. Perseverance in the faith. Is it, is it quite simple, huh? Perseverance in the faith guarantees us our healing because Christ has already did the work. So it's not only now, it's only about me receiving. So now all I have to do is receive. Receive the work that has already been done, whether it's physical healing, whether it's spiritual healing, and certainly spiritual that there is healing for us. Let's read uh, Hebrews 12. Take my glasses off because I currently can't see here. It says, Therefore, <clears throat> we also, since we are surrounded by so great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and every sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking on to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. So I, uh, you know, when, when, I, when I look at this here text that you know, the first thing that stands out is, he, you know, he, he tells them to, who runs a race with weights? Who runs, who, who runs the race? Now, if we ever look at track runners, and they, they, they strip all the way down. Because who runs with weights? Who runs with someone else on their back? Who runs with rocks in their pocket? No one runs a race with weight. And so I have to get rid of the, the, the weight so that I can run the race of faith. And so all these distractions, we wanna, we're, we're talking about healing. So if I want healing, the first thing I got to do is get rid of the distractions in my life. Now, does that distraction come in a friend? Does that distraction come in? And I'm going to tell you my, my, my distractions. I love playing games on my phone. Now, that sounds funny, right? But it can take up two hours of my time like that. It's a distraction. It's a weight that is on me, right, that, that pulls me away from persevering faith. And why do I say that? Because it, it distracts me from doing the work of the kingdom that God has given me and instructed me to do. And I can tell you that I like to play games on my phone. I, I, I really do. And, I, uh, and one of the games I love is Scrabble. I can play Scrabble for hours at a time. And so uh, uh, I, I, I often use this, you know, um, you know to, to, you know, kind of. Well, they have this thing on, 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 online called uh, Unscrabbler or, you know, where I put my letters in and it, uh, you know, kind of create a word for you. And so. I, 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 I use that when I'm trying to study for something and I'm trying to remember because it'll, you know, cre kind of create an acronym for me so I can, it helps me to remember. And I, I did that today. And the word that came out was CODA, C-O-D-A, CODA. 
And if you, you might have heard of that word before, it is a, it's the finale in a symphony. So it's kind of the, the final act. And I said, and I'm, and I'm trying to remember my, my, my work here, and I'm, I put that in, and it says, Coda, a finale of a symphony. And I thought, man, that, that works beautifully. Because oftentimes we try so many different things, and yet we fail because we're trying all these things and so if you have tried a whole bunch of things to, to receive your healing, try faith. Let that be the finale, that tr- faith is the thing that you try. Because it's not just having faith, but it's persevering in the faith. Persevering in the faith. And so the question is, how do I then persevere in the faith? First, I got to get rid of the weight. I got to get rid of the sin. But here is how Hebrews tells us to persevere in the faith. It says, look unto Jesus. Why? Because Jesus is the author. He's the finisher. But Jesus has done this thing. Because in, in, in chapter 11, he tells us about all different men and women who had persevered in the faith. And then he ends it with, here's the ultimate one who has done it by faith. Jesus, he's the author and he's the finisher. Look at him. If you want healing, look at Jesus. And and so I I, I put this coda in there. And I I came out with communion, C-O-D-A. Communion, obedience, uh, dependence, and assured confidence. So, Communion. Jesus had perfect communion. We're learning how to persevere in the faith. And we're looking unto Jesus. And this is what Jesus had. He had perfect communion with the Father. John 8, 29 reads, And he who sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I always do those things that please him. Jesus declared that I am am with the Father. The Father and I are, are, are one. We are in communion together. We are locked hand in hand. He don't go nowhere I don't go, and I don't go nowhere he don't go. We are together. If we want healing, We must be in communion with our Father. Let us be in communion with the Father. And what would it be like if you ran the race with no guidance? If we attempted to run a race, a cross-country race, and you had no guidance. I can tell you right now, chances are you would get lost. Why do I say that? Because my daughter ran and she got lost. <laughs> so she was, she was running the race and, 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 and she thought you were supposed to go right when you were supposed to go left. <laughs> and they have signs up guiding you This is the communion that we share with the Spirit, right? That the Holy Spirit is our guide, right? It says in John 14, 26, it says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. And so now he is bringing us into remembrance. He's guiding us through life. So we don't go right when we should have went left. And we don't have to come looking for you, like my daughter. He said, man, well, she was, she was definitely before them. Where, where, what happened? This is the Christian race. Amen? Amen. Amen. The second thing is obedience. 
If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love just as I kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. John 15, 10. We can't be in communion if we're not walking in obedience. They go hand in hand. Obedience keeps me connected to the vine. It keeps me listening to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is guiding me. He's helping me. And what would it be like if he tells me, go left, and I go right. He says, go right. And I say, man, it looks like the, the, that's, that's better there. I'm going to go straight. And we find ourselves disconnected from the vine. Communion, obedience. Communion, obedience. They go hand in hand. Dependence. He trusted in the Lord. Let him rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Psalm 22 8. You know, when we trust God, God delights in us. When we trust God, we, 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 we convey the message that we, we need God. We only, we, we only trust in people that, that we, we, we need. What would it look like to, to, to trust in this podium here when I don't believe that the podium can do anything for me? And so when we put our trust in God, we're, we're, we're conveying to him that I need you. And not only do I need you, but I believe that you are able to heal me. And so when I'm, when I'm looking unto Jesus, I understand and I believe not only that he will, but he has the power to heal me. For the podium has no power to heal. Now it's a nice and sturdy podium. You know, it might stand here forever. You know, it, 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 it ain't going nowhere. It, it, it might not break down for a while, but it doesn't have any power. It doesn't have any authority to help you persevere in the faith. The true healing is the perseverance of the faith. It's the perseverance of the faith. For in persevering in the faith, we receive the healing. Amen. Mm. I'm almost done here. And even when I don't understand, even when I when I can't figure out why I'm 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 dealing with such tragedies in my life, even when I don't understand why someone else's sin has plagued me all my life, even when I don't understand all the things that I've gone through, all, all the things that I'm, I'm experiencing in life. He still has the power to give me, to help me persevere in the faith. How can you say that? Proverbs 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. That even when I don't understand what is taking place, even when I don't understand how I'm going to make it up this hill, Kevin Costner said, attack the hill. And so I tell you, attack life. Understanding that, you know what, God, I don't understand, but I'm going in Jesus' name. God, I don't understand, but I, you know what? I, I, I'm going to cry about it, but I'm going to get on my knees about it. God, I don't know uh, if, if I'm going to receive physical healing, but I rejoice 
I rejoice in just my, 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 my faith in you. I rejoice that you are giving me the power to persevere even in my need of healing. Even in my, my time where I, 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 I'm dealing with this thing, I'm dealing with things from my youth, from my childhood that I don't understand. I'm still having problems forgiving because of the pain that I'm going through. And yet, I shall not lean on my understanding. I don't understand, but I will not lean on my own understanding. I will acknowledge you, and I will allow you to direct my path. Amen. And the last thing that I, that, that I, I love is assured confidence. You see, Jesus, unlike us, Jesus looked beyond the circumstance. He looked beyond the, the, the temporary things of life. You know, when he was, he, he, he had asked the disciples, he says, you know, he, he, he had, uh, uh, he says, who do men say that I am? And, and Peter says, well, Thou art the, the, the Christ. You know, and, and so now it was like a, a, a revelation. And, and yet, Jesus says, you know, yeah, now I got to die. Wait a minute. You just said you was going to give us the keys to the kingdom. You just, you just got done saying that you were going to give us the keys to the kingdom and the gates of hell wasn't going to prevail against us. That, that man, we're going to win is because Peter saw with his physical lens and he only saw temporary. He didn't see beyond. For us, what is it saying to us? Look beyond. Look beyond this world. Jesus understood, yeah, yeah, I'm about to die, but I'm about to live. There's a joy set before me, and it is the finished work that has to be done. Amen. And so, 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 so Peter says to him, uh, after, you know, Jesus says, I, I got to die. He pulls him to the side as if that was better. And he begins to rebuke Jesus. And I, you know, I could imagine. Now, this is my own, my own imagination. You ever seen the, uh, uh, different strokes when, when, when the little, uh, uh, the little guy used to always say to his brother, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> I can imagine him pulling Jesus to the side like, what you talking about, Jesus? <laughs> like, you just told us what was going to happen, and now you're saying this? And Jesus says, get thee behind me, Satan which is a harsh rebuke. Get thee behind me, Satan. It's because Jesus saw beyond this world. Let us look beyond this world. Let us look beyond our, our physical sickness. I'm not saying you don't have to pray and, 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 and we don't get together and pray about our sickness. I'm not saying that we don't get together and pray about what's going on in our lives. Not to the contrary. But what I'm saying to you is, regardless of what the outcome we believe, we think we see, look unto Jesus. See something greater beyond this temporary world. Let yourself have persevering faith. You've seen we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, those who have persevered in the faith. Why can't you? Why can't you have persevering faith? Persevering faith that leads to true healing. True healing. Because Jesus says, for the joy that was set before me. There's a joy for us, too. There's a joy when we persevere in the faith that one day we shall wear a crown. Amen? Yes. One day we shall wear a crown. And so, now if you, if, if you are here 
and you don't know Christ, and you don't have this hope, I want you to know that it is available to you just like it is to the rest of us. Those who have received Christ and know that we have a hope beyond today, beyond this current circumstances in my life, that I have a hope beyond a heavenly hope, a blessed hope. I, can, I have a hope beyond my circumstance Regardless of what that circumstance is, I have a hope, which is Christ, who has gone to the cross for me, who has died for me, who has done the work so much that he sit, sit down, that it is a finished, done work. So if he's done the work and he's sat down, why am I up working? Why do I choose to, to, to work? And why do I find myself worried about all these different things going on in my life? And why am I just trusting in the Lord? Man, let us trust in God today. Let us trust in the one who has given us life. Father, we thank you. And Lord, I just thank you, God, and pray for every heart here. God, I pray, Lord, that those who are under the sound of my voice, those who hear my voice, Lord, God, if we do not know you, God, I pray that you, your, your spirit, Lord, would speak to every heart, Lord, that they may come to know you, Lord. God, that you have gone to the cross, you and you alone have did the work, you have died for the sins of man, Lord. Lord, that we who are dead in sin, might have life in you. God, we thank you and we give you all the praise. Lord, I give you all the glory for you are worthy of it, God. And God, we pray for healing, for the true healing is in the perseverance of the faith, Lord. For we will all be healed when we come in your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I want you guys to know that, that, that God still sits on the throne, man. The, the, the healing is already done. It, it, the healing is already done. Matter of fact, it's also it's it's so done that Jesus is sitting there, you know. All you gotta do is put your hand out. Amen. Well, let's uh, gather together since we are a small group. We are eleven, which is the same number that Jesus appeared to in the <laughs> on Resurrection Eve. Amen. He got the Holy Spirit upon him and said, "Go and forgive sins and all that kind of stuff." So, anyways, we want to gather together. We'll have a time of prayer. Yes. And, uh, Pray for each other. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Mm. Your word is truth. Thank you for the message tonight. Thank you for Pastor Carter sharing with us the truth of your promises, your power. That you endured everything. <clears throat> and that we can with joy receive. Yes. The forgiveness of sins. It's, it just amazes me that on the night of your resurrection. You breathed on your disciples. said receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And you wanted them to go out and forgive sins. Because that's the beginning of healing. Lord bless us now as we gather together. Remind us that you told us in Matthew 18. That wherever two or more are gathered in my name. I am there in the midst of them. And that you want us to ask or whatever we need. And if two or three agree, it'll be done for us. So Lord, we come before you and ask for the needs that we have, trusting you will hear our prayers and answer them the best way possible. Mm. We have a, a young girl who's six years old who has cancer, and uh, she's at, at Mott's, and she can't really walk very well because it's right on her spine.
Mm. So her name is Layla. 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 Yeah. Praying for, for God to do a miraculous healing in her. Yes, Lord. And Lord, I just pray for uh, not only Layla, but Lord, I pray, God, for her parents, her mm -hmm. family, yes. those around her, those who are surrounded, uh, surrounding her, God. I, I, I pray, God, for their spiritual uh, strength, Lord, that mm -hmm. you would strengthen them, Lord, that they might persevere through it. Yes. God, that yes. even in it, Lord, that they will rejoice in you, that they will sing your praises, yes. that they will know that you are good in the midst of in the midst of, of, of tragedy, in the midst of not being sure what's coming or, or, or what's going to happen, Lord, but that you are good. And so, God, I thank you, Lord, that their faith will remain in you strong. And if they don't know you, Lord, I pray, God, that through this situation that they come to know you, Lord, that they come to live for you in Jesus' name. If there's if there's any unbelief, oh God, we pray. If there's any unbelief, God, we pray mm, that you help all unbelief, Lord. God, that it will would, would would have no space, Lord, to dwell. And so, God, that 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 we would believe, Lord, even in this circle, God, that we would believe, God, that not only that you can, Lord but that you will. God, that we would believe that you will heal her body, Lord, and uh, just uh, continue, Lord, to minister to her family. Yes, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You know, 
only athlete. She's the Thank only you. athlete. She Thank just, you. But she is free. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. She is free. She is light. She's a light. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Yes, wow. Lord. She is growing. Thank you. Yes. She is growing. She is growing. Yes, Jesus. Lord. She is growing in faith. Yes. She's growing in mm. spiritual muscles. Mm. Wow. Yes. She's yes. Yes. And hope. Hope is strengthening. Yes. Hope. Faith. Mm. Lord, I can I can hear the parents re rejoicing. Amen. I believe. I can see them, Lord, rejoicing. You are my God. Amen. Be glorified. Amen. Oh, Lord, thank you, God, that you have kept us. You have kept our daughter. God, I thank you, Lord, that in the midst of it, Lord, that they will rejoice when they come out of it, God, regardless of of, of uh, what takes place, Lord, that they will rejoice in you. I can see them rejoicing mm -hmm. that you have done a great work, God. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you for faith. Mm -hmm. Oh, persevering faith, Lord. Mm -hmm. Faith that endures. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be glorified. Be magnified. Be exalted. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, you're worthy to be praised. Oh, Lord, we praise you on today. God, we praise you because you are good. We praise you because you are worthy. We praise you, God, for you are God and God alone. And so, God, we rejoice in you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Your love. Yes, Lord. Yes, Write us up, Lord. Write us up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Write us all up. Yes. Let us glow. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Let the heavenly glow glow in us. Mm -hmm. yes. So we can bring our faith to others. Wow. Yes, Lord. Give us pure uh, minds, oh Lord God. you mm. so many people who are struggling this tonight of joy since fallen and struggling with mm. rehab and Steve who had an operation but it didn't go as planned and we just pray Lord for healing mm. and Lord there's just so many people in need of healing we just ask Lord that you would mm. as you did with the crowds that came bef to you as you traveled in, in Israel Lord we pray that we would experience healing all around Yes. Yes. Super grace, a supernatural grace to all of them right now. Yeah, mm. so. Just a supernatural grace. Mm. Never ending grace. Mm. Just let it flow. Yes. Let it flow from heaven right now. Mm. To yes. all the lost, mm -hmm. all the sufferers. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I just thank, thank you. you. Thank the you. gate of grace, the gate, the gate of grace is open. Mm. That's what I hear the Lord say. Wow. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Oh man, I can see the doors open. Yes. I just think there is unlimited grace mm. right now for all of us, mm. yeah. for all that we think about, all we pray for. Yes. Wow. Yes. I just see a party in heaven right now. Yeah. Just a party in heaven for all, all yes. the sufferings that are finding grace right now, mm. that are finding faith. Yes, Jesus. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Thank 
you, Lord. Lord, I just pray for emotional healing. Mm -hmm. God, those who are dealing with trauma, mm -hmm. those who are, have been holding trauma for years upon years, yes, God. Jesus. God, that, that, that they will come to know, Lord, there is true healing in you. God, mm -hmm. this is not just a, a, a statement, God, but there is true wow. healing mm -hmm. in the cross. And so, God, I thank you, Lord, that, that they would find themselves, Lord, yes. at the foot of the cross mm -hmm. right now, God, reaching out to touch the hem of your garment. Knowing, God, that there is true healing. And so help us believe, Lord. Where there's unbelief, help us believe, Lord. Help us uh, just, just, Lord, we just pray, God, that hearts would believe that there is healing in you. Yes. And that they would seek after your healing, God. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah. None of us get through this world unscathed. Everybody's had it yes. and neglected or rejected in some way or another, Lord. Just, it's for all of us, Lord, that you reach in there and you, you said you wipe away every tear, Lord, and you wipe away all these hurts and these angers. Yeah. And let's part to give and, yes, and, and, and cleanse our hearts. Mm. Clean slate from all this, Lord. Yeah. Just clean slate right now. Just clean. Thank you, Lord. Just pure, Thank pure you. mind, pure Thank soul. Thank you, Lord. Just purify us, Lord. Thank you. Oh. Holify us. Mm, we are accepted in love. Amen. Oh, that you accept us for who we are, Lord. Oh, we don't have to perform for anyone. God, you accept us. Lord, for you created us. We were wonderfully created. And so, God, we thank you. We thank you, God, that we are your children. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, I guess I got one for me. I've had this, my part stories like that, congested for about a year or so. And mm. My voice isn't the same as it used to be. Mm. I'm, I'm mm. completely, it's, it's, just, it's different. There's something wrong with that. I've always had to clear my throat and cough. And, mm. uh, so I don't know how to figure out how to fix it. It's mm. yeah. just too much. But yes. Thank you. Lord, just fix yeah. Bob's yeah. voice. And yeah. May it be so. Yeah, may it be, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name. We thank you, God. In your name, Lord. In your name, Lord. Heal, Lord. Yes, Jesus. God, we just pray for peace through it. God, that there will be a peace even in it, in the storm, in the confusion. Oh, God, that there is a peace, a peace that surpasses, Lord, all understanding. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, that you give us peace, Lord, even through the storms. Pray for direction mm -hmm. and guidance, Lord. Yes. Blood. Lord, yes. Sugar balance right now. Lord, just reset the yes. to zero. Yes. Just reset brand new right now. Thank you. So let, let us process mm -hmm. that all yes. properly, Lord. Let Thank us have a chance to system mm -hmm. be supernaturally fasted, Lord. <laughs> yes. Just let it pass. Let it reset all the organs. Purified mode in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, wow. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And God, I just feel the need to pray for the breaking of chains of, of, of addiction and. God, break chains, Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, break chains, Lord. Break chains, Lord. Mm. Yes, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We ask and we are receiving. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're breaking the chains. Yes. Set free. I just see it breaking continuously right now. It's like a domino effect. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. It's a domino effect. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Domino effect. Wow. Oh, thank you. One after the other. Just breaking. Yes, Lord. People are being liberated right now. Set free. Yes, set free, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Our ancestors are being liberated. Yes, Lord. And all their descendants. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Bless Jesus. Amen. God, as they're set free, we just thank you, God, that they run. God, that they begin to run the race for you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is a find a find a joy in running for you. Mm-hmm. The joy that is to mm-hmm. know you. The joy yes. is to to spend time with you. The joy of mm-hmm. of living for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, the joy of being known by you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. God, Thank you. that they will be known by you. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm. I just see barriers being broken. Yes, thank you, Lord. With Jesus, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Doors are opening. Mm -hmm. Yes. The doors are open. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The path is clear. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So focus, wisdom. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last one. Okay, Father, <laughs> do what we want. We mm-hmm. want your Holy Spirit to mm-hmm. be in the church in this building. Yes, Jesus. That your presence, Lord, that mm-hmm. tangible, mm-hmm. noticeable presence that we're doing, mm-hmm. people coming in here will say, hey, there's something different about this place. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 Lord. Thank you, God. Praise uh, you, Jesus. Minister their hearts, even mm-hmm. the positive things they're going through. Mm-hmm. Can't speak about it or don't know about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let them take each other by the hand. Just, just come and bless those hands. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Lord, it warms your heart when men pray. Amen. And Lord, Amen. we thank you for each and every yes. person here tonight praying. And Lord, we just pray now for all those who you're drawing to yourself that you're yes. going to bring across the street, that you're going to bring to Pancakes tonight. And yes. we just pray, Lord, that you know their needs. You know what they need. And mm. we just pray, Lord, that we would not only provide food, but also provide an experience of your grace, oh, an experience of your love. Hallelujah. They would understand that, you know, we don't ask mm. anything. They just come and eat. But that, that's yeah. because you Sharing. want to feed them, Lord. You want Sharing to feed them. Yes. 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 Sharing you want to, bread. Just like you said to your disciples, you feed them. Yes. <laughs> Lord, Sharing is bread. We, we sometimes mm. pray that there be multiplication. And so, Lord, we just pray that you would do mighty, and mighty work through our volunteers, through Jonathan, yes. through all the, those who are working here tonight, Lord, that you would speak your love. Yes. Yes, Lord. Indeed. And in word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right, you have the Lord saying that, Carter, you're, everything's mapped out for you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You're like a cart that just keeps on going. Uh, the map is laid out for you. Uh, you, got, you are following the map. Oh. Stay on the GPS. Yeah. <laughs> you are following the map, man. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, it's got good wheels, that cart of yours. Mm-hmm. It's just going to keep on going, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You can Lord. carry all the way you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, got, you got horses with you, man. You got angels mm-hmm. pulling you as well. Amen. 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 Well, any, any other requests? Well, there's usually a lot of folks who watch this via online or after mm-hmm. the fact. Yeah. Right?
preferir a Bojan Cory Cory we ask to say that we need to help to refine his wallet just a clear path to his wallet right now Lord just let him think let him let him be clear let the wallet come to him yes Jesus and also Lord for Cory's arm we just pray Lord that you would heal his arm heal it Lord Yes. Any of the things yes. that are bothering him, Lord, just yes. we pray for supernatural healing in Jesus' yeah, name. Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Mm. Just fire from mm. Lord right now. Just mm. fire from yeah. head to toe right now in his heart, yes. in his belly, yes. in his lungs. Yes, Lord. Just let the fire of heaven mm. go into his lungs yes. right now. Praise just let the breath. You just Praise give everything you got, Lord. Just give him everything yes. from the inside to the outside. Just let it pour out through mm. his veins. Mm. Just let your blood fill him. Yeah. Fill him. Just re-energize him. Yeah. Just yeah. cerebral palsy be gone right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Mm. Destroy yes. God. Yes. Just let him. Just mm. let him. Thank just you. let him be re resurrected yes. right now, Lord. Mm. Just brand new. We ask him to be brand new right now. Mm -hmm. We ask his all his muscles, all his bones, uh, all his muscles to be realigned right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Thank you. Jesus. Greater things. find time to help so many people god has multiplied you god bless you and your family man <laughs> oh man yes lord yes lord First Friday of May. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's a worthwhile show because the, the, the talks, the worship's great, and, and mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit shows up. And, and when you get the same thing we're doing here, mm -hmm. we pray for each other. We got the community mm -hmm. fires as well. It's, it's a good, good thing. Wonderful. Well, can, ah. we, can we just close quickly because right. we got to get yeah, ready for. Huge <laughs> shock <laughs> we got we got a little bit of time, but <laughs> yeah. This, oh. There you go. I mean, well, let's, unfortunately, let's, you know, yeah. God's got a plan. <laughs> let's just close with. Uh, 
Lord Jesus, thank you for this time that you've given to us. Thank you, Lord, that we sang that wonderful reminder of the blessing. So, Lord, we ask that you would bless us and work through us and show your power, your glory, your healing. Just let people see that great grace that we heard about in Acts chapter 4 yeah. when everybody says they, have, they had great grace. And I just pray, Lord, that we would have great grace and that we would be able to see like uh, at the beginning of chapter 3 in Acts where the man is, uh, is begging and, and uh, Peter says, you know, I have no, no coin, but what I do have is rise, stand up in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we just want to see healing. We want to see people leaping and shouting for joy and praising God. Yes. So, Lord, thank you for this night. Thank you for Carter. Thank you for Jonathan. And thank you, Lord, for each one gathered mm -hmm. here tonight. And watch over us as we go on to pancakes or travel home. Lord, protect mm -hmm. us. And may the Lord bless us and keep us. Lord, make his face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. Lord, Lord, lift up his countenance upon us and give us his peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys. Yes. God bless you. <laughs> hey guys, God bless you, man. No doubts, man. Don't let those doubts get to you. Working hard and hardly working all at the same time.